the first thing they catch you about Newfoundland, they call it the rock for a reason. It's, uh, it's, the landscape's quite extreme. However, it's also stunningly beautiful, uh, surrounded by the ocean. I love the outports, uh, seeing the icebergs were a super highlight, and of course the, the people. Um, I, I enjoyed my time there very much. Culturally, it was unique in every single way, whether the foods they ate, and the traditions, uh, things you would never expect, connections with other places in the world you'd never really expect. I was, I was walking along and I met these people on this really rainy day and they brought me in and they said they'd give me a place to stay. And they're crab fishermen. When they finished their day, they brought me to their house and it was a playoff hockey game, which is a Canadian thing to do. So we had this giant feast and it was the biggest pile of crab you've ever seen. And uh, so they invite me in and I'm eating crab. I've never really had crab before. So, I mean, it was crab everything. And uh, drinking beer and, and watching hockey. And this little girl comes up to me and she says, what keeps you safe? I said, I never thought of that. So to this day, I still wear the bracelet she gave me to keep me safe. And I promised them I stay still in touch with her parents too. And when this is done, I'm gonna send it back to her. So that'll be eight years later. So she'll be something like 18 years old um, when I'm all done. But it's like, well, it's worked. So far, so good. It's not skunk proof though. That's the problem. <laughs>